high peace of the Lord my beloved brothers, here is your brother in Christ for Luciano Lima, here comes an experience that I had, a revelation that the Lord gave me about prayers, and I want to leave here the word that the Lord gave me, I will report this experience which is a revelation that the Lord gave me, in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 9 Surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear, but your iniquities have built barriers between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear, for your hands are stained with blood, and your fingers with iniquity, your lips have spoken lies, and your tongue mutters injustice. The other passage that the Lord gave me that is in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 because we are not fighting against human beings, but against spiritual forces of evil that live in heights, that are government authorities and powers that completely dominate the second heaven, which is the domain of darkness, the Lord gave me further more passage, in John chapter 9 verse 31, we know that God does not listen to sinners, but he does listen to the one who worships him and does his will, he hear the prayer of those who want to regret and repent, beloved brothers, the Lord gave me this revelation recently, and he showed me, mystery, I was taken to the first heaven and the second heaven, but dear brothers I was floating space when the Lord took my spirit, I didn't see Jesus for I just heard him talking to me, very quickly I saw that I was in space, I saw lots of cloud in the sky, these were black cloud very dark, like when clouds are loaded with rain and when they are about to fall on the land, I saw those dark clouds in the second heaven, from where I was able to look at the land and the first heaven, I was floating in space when suddenly I heard the tremendous voice of the Lord talking to me, the Lord said, my servant I will reveal to you mystery about the right prayer and wrong prayer, the Lord told me just watch and observe, and suddenly my beloved brothers I started to contemplate little balls of lights, that were coming out of each house on the land, I saw balls of light rising to the sky and there were many of them, as I kept observing these beautiful and numerous balls of light rising to the sky, the Lord told me, I am revealing to you four kind of prayer that travel the sky, and these four type prayer are representation of the majority of prayer of Christians, as the Lord spoke to me, these balls of light kept rising and rising from many homes, as these ball of light went up moving to the heavenly, I saw wicked spirit of air grabbing the first ball of light, and then I beheld the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm seizing the second ball of light in space. However the spiritual forces that control evil in the heavenly world were not able to capture the third ball of light, when the fourth kind of ball of light rose to the space they could not do something against it, brothers when I saw that the first little ball of light were capture by demon, I asked the Lord for explanation, I didn't understand why the forces of space were trying to capture these shining light ball, though I knew that these dark cloud were demon. The Lord already told me that these demon come from behind the cloud, for initially I said to the Lord, I don't understand what these clouds represents, the Lord said these clouds that you see my servant are the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places, the Bible say for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places, Brothers we are fighting against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places, since I did not understand these mysteries, I asked the Lord clarification about balls of light that were captured by wicked spirit of heavenly places, the Lord said, this ball of light captured by demon are the prayer of the saint of the earth, my brothers I was amazed to discover that these balls of life that were in the sky were the prayer of God children, it was a radiating and shining light a breathtaking thing to behold, our prayer are a shining ball that goes up to the sky, I then inquire from the Lord about the first ball of light that was rising to the heaven and was captured by space demon, and the Lord said the following to me, my servant, this prayer that you saw that was captured by wicked spirit is the prayer of unbeliever, and church goer that live life their own ways, for they have no commitment to me, I do not receive this prayer, for this kind of prayer has no strength to move in the heavenly region and overcome barrier, which are wicked spirit of the air, I understood the mystery of the prayer of sinner that are blocked by demon in space, and then the Lord talked to me about the mystery of the second prayer, 
the doors are those held by demons for it has failed to get past the second heaven and barrier that a demon, the Lord said this prayer is from materialistic people who don't live in my will, I told them to come to me but this people are attached to material goods and these two prayers have no strength to overcome that barrier in space, and there is no answer to these prayer, the Lord then show me the third prayer that went up to space, this prayer took too long, it took a little while to overtake the barrier, nonetheless it kept rising upward, and this prayer rose like ball of light, I observed this prayer as it was rising to the sky when it turned into a ball of fire, this ball of fire managed to break and pierce barrier of prince of air, and quickly it reached the third heaven, I saw this prayer rising like rocket of fire, however I wondered why this prayer took a little while to overcome these demons, actually when this prayer was piercing the heaven, I saw the hand of a demon of space, as he was trying to grab this third prayer, the demon of air was unable to handle this ball of light that have turned to a ball of fire, that prayer kept increasing in size and kept growing, the little ball was growing more and more and started to turn on fire and those demon could not get a hold this fire released by this prayer that went up, and I said, Lord, that third ball of light has become a fire ball and has managed to overtake demon and the Lord told me that the third prayer that have managed to overcome these demon clouds are the prayer of mine servants who obey me and walk in holiness and with my spirit, their prayer has the strength to overcome barriers of Satan in the second heaven, and suddenly brother I saw the fourth prayer that went up like fireball. These demons could not capture it with their hand, what surprised me is that I saw the spiritual forces that control evil in the heavenly world trying to listen to the content of this fourth prayer but they could not hear what these Christian were saying to God, this prayer that was a ball of fire went up much faster than the third prayer, and I said to the Lord why is this prayer more explosive, more fiery and more powerful than the last three prayer, this prayer overcame the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places with ease, more than the others, and I wanted to know the reason wicked spirits tried to hear the content of this prayer, the Lord told me, my servant this prayer that you saw are strange tongues, for many of my servants pray in strange tongues, and Satan try to find out what they are speaking in their prayer, for one who speaks in tongues speaks not to men but to God, for no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the spirit, those who pray in tongues speak mystery to me and my father, my father and I know what you're saying when you pray in tongue, when the day of Pentecost came. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting, he saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them, the Lord told me Satan can't handle praying in tongue, for this prayer rise to heaven like rocket of fire, the Lord said to me, my servant these are the mystery of prayer, and why I do not receive some prayer. The first and the second prayer that you saw are from unbeliever and believers that are materialistic, they are attached to the world and they walk in the flesh and in vanity, the Lord said, my servant pay attention to this first and second prayer, I watch attentively and I saw these demons capturing the first and the second prayer, when these demon held the first and second prayer, I saw those demons descending to the earth and I asked the Lord because the demon went to earth with the prayer that they have capture, they went precisely to the houses where the prayer rose from, the Lord said, my servant this is the mystery or prayer, the devil also hear and answer prayers and petition, and these demon that you are beholding are Satan messenger, who deliver the answer and the blessing to people who live in sin, this demon also deliver miracle, including dreams, vision and revelation to the sinful person praying, brother's demon can cause dream, vision and revelation when we persist in sinful life, demon can cause blessing and answer to prayer when we are attached to worldly life, the Lord said these prayers that wicked spirits have capture, have failed to rise to my throne, they are the prayer that the devil answers, these are prayers that I don't like, these prayer have no power to ascend to the throne of my glory, brothers. The Lord showed me that Satan is the one who gives answer to prayer that fail to reach the throne of God, Satan sent his messenger with the answer and blessing to the life of the sinful person, so that person who is in iniquity, vanity and transgression would be deceived, into believing that God is happy with him, the Lord told me. 
The mystery and deception is that the devil bless sinful believer, so that they will always remain in error and in sin, thinking that I'm hearing their prayers and I am alright with their lifestyle, that way they will to continue with their sinful way, this is a deception, I don't hear prayers of sinner, my servant it is Satan who hears these prayers, and it is Satan who answers the prayers of these people who live in sin. Now you now know this mystery that I'm revealing to you, my beloved brother that was the revelation that the Lord gave me, and when I told the pastor in the church, I also talked to Pastor Nadia, who was asking the Lord to reveal to her about these people who walks in vanity without commitment to him yet they receives the blessing much faster than people who are in the church that walks in holiness, for those who walk in holiness seems to wait for some time before getting the answer from the Lord, yet those who are in sin. Vanity and negligence receive blessing very fast, Pastor Nadir was wondering why people who walks in vanity receives easily and she found this very strange, when I talked to Pastor Nadir about this mystery of Satan answering prayer of those who live in sin today, she said the Lord took her doubt away and everything was clear, I said Lord I'm being very thankful to you and my brother I thank the Lord for the revelation, I will tell this truth wherever I go. I will also tell the people and post on my channel to awaken many who are not committed to the Lord, the Lord said tell those who are not committed in serving in my house, Amen the peace of the Lord be with you.